So the clinics at CIAS are um, many, and each one has its own history. There are six of them, and they're located throughout the San Francisco area, each one in a different neighborhood and each one with its own history. Counseling as a profession is offered right now in two ways. It's offered to those who have money and have insurance, and they tend to seek out licensed clinicians in private practice, or they work through their, you know, their various health plans like Kaiser or what have you to get services. And then there are a whole cadre of folks who go on Medi-Cal or who, who are working with the Department of Public Health or any kind of free services in various um, community clinics. And all of those services are wonderful and good, but for the person who's underemployed or underinsured or uninsured, there's kind of this gap. So we are in the in-between. We have sliding scale fees for folks who are underemployed, folks who are struggling, folks who don't have insurance, and folks who want to work in our, our unique treatment modalities. These folks would probably not be served in any other way. Church Street Integral Counseling Center and in my experience, the other people I know from other clinics aren't doing this um, because it's a job. We're doing this because there's some sort of meaning or calling or need to be of service and connected in our communities. The staff embodies over a dozen languages. They, many of them are not born in the States. Uh, many of them identify as our larger community does with a range of intersectional identities. My work in this clinic has influenced me in the sense that I got a much deeper and broader exposure to the very different subcultures in San Francisco and the Greater Bay Area as far as sexual identity, gender identity, class, race, culture, trauma, spirituality through interacting in a very deep, meaningful, therapeutic way with these different groups, I've learned a lot about what it actually means to relate to people who are extremely different, and yet finding a way, a channel of communication in which we can actually bridge those differences and become a collaborative team in trying to understand, explore, and improve the people that I work with. It also made me see that we are, as much as we're different, we're also very similar. And that there is a way to connect through those similarities and use them in, all, in, in order to improve. We're struggling with a lot of connection right now. Like the current times that we are in the society, uh, connection seems to be you know, a place of difficulty for most of us. We see trauma after trauma, like social trauma, we see political trauma, we see racial trauma. It, it, it's, it's like all these woundings are so deep that prevent us from actually connecting because it, connecting sometimes feels unsafe. When you're able to connect with a therapist that is, you know, not judgmental, um, is getting supervised, is being supported, and they're able to be there and actually take this pain, this suffering, these confusions that client may come with, and feel, them not feeling judged, but actually feeling connecting, that there's someone that feels their pain, that could be super healing. And I think that's one of the, the advantages of, you know, coming from an integral perspective, where we see the person as a whole. At the beginning, it was a little surprising that I would come out to the waiting room and people were talking to each other. And I thought, I was like, okay, what's going on? And then realizing that it's, it, it has become like a community helping their community by telling about our services. Our services are not just like people that are looking at, like are looking for services and they happen to land here, which we love. But if they're being referred, if they're being referring clients, that means that we must be doing something right. You know, that feels good. <laughs> So the future of, of our clinics and the future of psychotherapy altogether is really fascinating. There's a way in which um, several different disciplines are converging and many of them we have here at CIIS and many of them are really partner and sister disciplines such as neuroscience, genetics, um, AI, you know, and so on, virtual reality, behavioral medicine in the form of video games, etc. So there's a whole series of sister disciplines that are being um, developed through technology and through biomedical science that we could easily partner with, with our whole person, transpersonal spiritual lens or our somatic lens and deliver a really integrated experience. So I envision a day when we actually have an integrated clinic um, or perhaps several integrated clinics in different neighborhoods so it's accessible whereby we partner with medical science, neuroscience, 
um, acupuncture, yoga, etc., and deliver personalized medicine. Holism can be expanded to include um, and to heal this divide that we've historically had. If we unite again, it's actually really powerful, and we can do this through a genetic neuroscience psychotherapy lens. There's respect on both sides, and most clinical cases actually fit in the middle. Thank you.